Okay guys, we're going to use Pythagorean Theorem and look at a three-dimensional shape to find the missing side, but it's all about finding the right triangle and plugging in the legs and hypotenuse, okay? So here we are, and we are asked to find the diagonal of CB. So let me put a red line on there. There it is. See it? From C to B. And if you look a little bit closer, you could actually highlight a triangle on there. And that would work. Um, what type of triangle is it? Well, it's a right triangle because this is a rectangular prism. So that means it's either squares or rectangles on each side. So that means that this is a right angle. So it's a right triangle that we're looking at. And uh, we use Pythagorean Theorem. We take a look at the legs, which are 3 and 4. Plug that in. And then we could go and solve for C. Uh, which in this case is uh, C, B, okay? So 9 plus 16 equals C squared. 9 and 16 is going to be 25. How do we get the square off of C? By putting the square root on the other side. And that lets us know that C, B is 5. And, and that's what would would do there. That was not that complicated, but if I said, hey, can you please go find the length of AB, well, that gets a little bit messier because AB is all the way back here from A on that back corner to the front corner down here with B. And you would see a right triangle again. And in order to find AB, we need to find those two legs of the right triangle. Well, the first part um, wouldn't be that bad because the 12 is running right up here on this rectangular prism, so that means AC back here would also be 12. So we've got one of the legs. That's fantastic. Then we can figure out how to get this other leg. But wait, <laughs> hopefully you still remember that we did that on the last problem, the last problem. So how do we find this leg? Well, you would look at this blue triangle down here and go, oh, <laughs> 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. And we ultimately find out that it would be 5. So we use the blue triangle to find the hypotenuse right here. And now we can go find the hypotenuse of the yellow triangle to go find AB. So it's like a two-step problem. And we plug in the 12 and the 5 in the legs. So 144 plus 25 equals C squared. 144 and 25 is 169 equals C squared. How do we get the square off the C? Put a square root on the other side. And that would make it 13. So AB is measured as 13. So if they ask you to find the diagonal of a um, rectangular prism, most of the time it's going to be a two-step process where you got to find two different uh, missing hypotenuses. And uh, this should help you get through there.